Stuart, thanks for your time. I spoke to you before the People's Forum on Wednesday. You were still hopeful. You didn't want to know the numbers. You were just out there trying to campaign. But uh, what, what's your feeling now? Can you still get there? It looks close. Oh, look, Kieran, I think it's fair to say that it's a narrow path, but we've got about 14,000 votes that we know won't be counted tonight across two very large pre-poll locations as well as postal votes. Uh, we've had one pre-poll booth counted in our probably lowest performing area of the electorate, and we've won that pre-poll booth. So I think given how much our workers have made a contribution and worked hard uh, to get this result tonight, uh, we should let the Electoral Commission just finish its work over the next few days. And I'm really proud of everyone here in Penrith, the amazing work that we've put in. It's fair to say with a redistribution and a little bit of extra weight in the saddlebag, the handicapper found us in this one. And looking at some of these results, I think uh, here in Penrith, the team's worked incredibly hard and should be really proud of taking this one all the way to the line. Stuart Ayres, Andrew Clennell. Uh, commiserations if you have indeed lost. I, I realise you're saying you're still in it. Uh, what, um, what do you think lost uh, the coalition this election and is there any bitterness on your part in terms of the way you were treated by the Premier over the John Barillaro Trade Commissioner matter? Oh, Andrew, I must admit I've been pretty focused on the Penrith numbers. I've seen a number of the seats that have fallen but I haven't really been able to get my head into everything that's happened across the night. It, it does look like a rather significant result for Labor. Uh, I know that they've still got to get to that majority, but they're, all, they're definitely forming government. I know the Premier's conceded. I think, we've, as a party, we've got to make sure we really have a good hard look at everything that's happened in the lead-up to this campaign, uh, make sure that we're talking to all of the different constituencies across New South Wales. That's going to be a challenge uh, when we're trying to balance those competing constituencies in the east of Sydney, the west of Sydney and regional New South Wales. We've, been a party that's always had such a broad base and we've got to be able to continue to be that party. And was there a failing there, do you think, in terms of being so concentrated on retaining those North Shore seats? Uh, well, I think there has been... It looks like there's going to be some losses across Western Sydney. Penrith is, uh, like I said, you know, a, narrow, a narrow pathway, but still going to be a challenging one. So let's not sugarcoat this and talk it up. It's still a difficult night here in Penrith. But... Uh, we, we will have to make sure that we re-engage with Western Sydney. It's the area that helped deliver us government. It'll be the area that decides future governments and the Liberal Party's got to have strong voices and be connected with people across Western Sydney.